Hey guys, Lonnie back here again. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting up any videos. Uh, between life, work, and other stuff, I've just not really been working on much. But uh, we're going to do a little something here to the 84C10. Uh, let me spin you around here. Uh, most of you all have been on my channel or uh, stopped by and seen me uh, building this truck. If you have it, uh, go back and you can check out my other videos. Uh, feel free to uh, like them, share them, subscribe, and hit the notification button. That way you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. Uh, I'm going to try to get back to uploading videos. But today, let's get back to what we're doing. Anyhow, uh, just got off of work and I've got something for the C10. Right now, this truck, uh, it's got the 5.3 LS in it, 4L60 transmission. Uh, it's been lowered, 5.7. I've got a set of 20s over there for it. But this thing sucks as far as the gearing. It's only got 273 gears in it, and it, it, it don't need that. It needs something better. So what we've got here is a set of 373s. Uh, I don't know the name brand, so, but you can see the 373s. got the ring gear and the pinion. Before we get into this, I'm going to record me doing this. I will say I have never changed out gears myself. Or should I say, I've, I've helped change out gears, but as far as really knowing, changing opinion and all that, I'm not a professional at that. So I'm not going to try to say or lead you on like I know exactly what I'm doing because I'm learning myself. Uh, I could I could send this off and have it done, you know, take it to a mechanic shop, but that's not me. I would rather jump in there, do it myself. That way I learn something and... Hopefully when this is all done, uh, it'll turn out great. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be one video or if it's going to be a few videos. So I don't want nobody commenting below here dogging me about me doing something wrong because I'm taking information that I'm learning as we go. Uh, so like I said, I'm not a professional. I probably, I probably won't do something right. But I'm not going to put it all back together until, you know, I, I've got a lot of friends on Facebook and I've got some friends here in town. They're going to help me out. Uh, I'll ask questions. To me, that's the only way you learn. You have to ask. Jump in there do it yourself. So I hope you'll follow along and watch as we do this because no matter what, by the time I'm done, it will be right. I will guarantee you that. Even if I have to go buy everything brand new. Uh, we're going to try to use the original chunk out of there. So, I hope it works. Um, there's a lot of people saying that uh, this 373 gear set will not work on my chunk. And then there's a lot of people that says it does. So, what better way to find out? Pull it out and check it. So, let me get you propped up underneath of the truck. And we will start videoing it, I guess. Uh, we'll take the rear end pan off. Uh... First things first, jack it up, get it on jack stands, pop the wheels, tires off the back. All righty.
All right, y'all, yeah, as you can tell, you're staring at the rear end. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pan off of here first. And then we'll uh, get the bolt and the pin out of the chunk. And then we'll uh, take the C-clips off and pull the axles out. As you can see, I just now got the wheels off and I did go ahead and leave the blooper video in there. So me, <laughs> the failed attempt to get the wheel off on the passenger side. But oh well, you know, it happens. We'll, uh, we'll get this, get these bolts out here. Just to make life a little easier. Sorry if the camera's a little dark. Alright, now let's put the air gun on it. out of the way right there put it over real back get a screwdriver safety clip off up here there we go all right there she goes And that's it in all of its ugly glory. Get this. Let me go put the truck in neutral and we will spin this around so we can get to the 5 sixteenths bolt that'll be. It's actually up here. Like I said, sorry about the darkness, but it's actually up here, so spin around here to where we can get to the boat all right try to give you a little bit more light there this is the little boat i've already spun it this is the little boat you need to take out just a 5 16th i know a little bit about these but i know how to basically how to change this as far as the shimming, I'm not sure, but uh, I've got a friend that knows how to do all that. And like I said, I'm the type of person that likes to jump in there and do it so I can learn. And I can tell these gears have been changed before because this bolt uh, is almost rounded just a little bit. I can tell there's been a wrench on it before, but no biggie. My hand's probably all in your way, but. Yeah. 
if y'all only knew what it takes to make a good video. I'm not no professional video person, but as you'll see in this video, I've tried to give you a little bit more kind of view, like taking the wheels and stuff off, jacking it up, you know, stuff like that. All right, there's that bolt. That's the one that goes through this pin right here. This pin is what's gonna hold the axles in. So we'll set that to the side. We should be able to push this pin out. And of course, it wants to be stubborn. So we'll take a hammer and try to tap it. Well, poo poo de doo. Let's see if we can spin this. Maybe it goes out that way, I'm not sure. Well, it don't come out that way. We'll get something better. We're going to try this. Ah.
A few moments later. What the? Just kidding. Oh, uh, <clears throat> yeah. The truck is already out. Uh, we are going to jump to this part of the video because this is like a fail video. Uh, as you can see, the whole rear end is right there. Minus the whole chunk. And, of course, the axle. Uh, ran into a bit of a snag. Uh, I tried and tried and tried to get the uh, pin that the spider gears ride on. Tried to get it out. The 5 16th bolt came out perfectly. There was nothing wrong with it. It did not snap off. Usually they have a, a problem with this long piece right here snapping off and it stays inside there. And that could cause you a little bit of booger to get the pin out. But in my case, that was not the case. This was my problem. You can see how bad that pin is boogered up there. Uh, I'm assuming that the, the gear rode on that and demolished it. The, uh, the spider gear, you can see they're both still in there. We beat, beat, beat. This is as far as we could get it out. So, I had to fire up the plasma cutter, and this is the rest of it. You can see where it has rode on this end, too. It would not come out either way, so. Needless to say, this chunk is bad. Uh, the bearings were bad. Ended up, the bearings... <laughs> You can see they're bad. Uh, one bearing is completely ate up somewhere on here. Here's one of them. You can see there. That bearing is ate up also. Uh, but anyhow. Uh, what I done was I slapped a another 10 bolt rear in there. Uh, it's got better axles in it. It has 390 gears uh, with a full lock rear end. Which... I do not lock, like the full lock rear end, but I got a buddy. Uh, he's got a limited slip unit, so we'll be pulling that locker out of there and putting the limited slip in, and I hope to record all that. But, like I said, this is just a quick video, uh, a fail, if you will. But, anyhow... I didn't want to just not upload something, you know, because I totally just messed that word up. I said upload. But anyhow, upload something because it's been a little while since I have uploaded something. Uh, that's about all I have for this video. Uh, I've been thinking about doing some vlogging. Maybe uh, I work all week, so I don't have time to vlog, you know, through there. Uh, maybe through like after I get off work Friday and maybe saturday do some vlogging if that would be something that you'd be interested in uh leave me a comment uh below also like the video if not hey you're more than welcome to state your opinion on that also uh anyhow we still have the 373 gears here I've got the new crush sleeve. I actually got three of them. I got one on it. These come from O'Reilly's. That's the part number for that one. This one is a different style crush sleeve. I'll see if I can get it open on, box, on video with one hand. Some of you may prefer this style over the other style, but that's what this one is. Uh, this is a part number right here. Let me close this box up. Right there's your part number. Both of those were purchased through O'Reilly's. I think I got all of it for like six bucks. But anyhow, yeah. Peace out. God bless you all. And from my family to your family, this is actually on Christmas night. So, God bless each and every one of y'all. And again, from my family to your family, this is how we do it. We say Merry Christmas.
ears from dead stop just punching it. Right here. And right here. 